Solo Board Gaming Night here, and I just wanted to show you how I make my custom inserts. Uh, some people might be a little bit intimidated, thinking that it may be too difficult, but literally with the pencil, a ruler, scissors, double-edged tape, some regular old cardboard paper, and some craft paper, you would be amazed how easy, fast, and very effective it would be to make uh, an insert to help store your favorite games like Journeys in Middle Earth, for example. So I'm going to go ahead. I already went ahead and, and cut out the pieces of, of cardboard. Now, this is just an example. I didn't go ahead and make one exactly the size. I just wanted to show you uh, through example how easy it is to do. Uh, so I just went ahead and cut it. Just make sure that you measure the inside of the box length and width and that you cut it an appropriate size and always also like insert it inside of the the box before you complete it in order to make sure that it actually fits properly and trim when needed or if needed so that it has a nice snug fit to it so i'm going to go ahead and show you how i create these this is what i'm going to use to actually keep the corners together uh so what i'm going to do i'm going to grab let me move this out of the way so I can, you guys can have a clear uh, view of how it's done. I'm going to grab our cardboard that I want to place. Let me lower this down. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go and put it over like this because I know that I want it to stick to the back right here. But I also don't want it to stick out. So I'm going to go and put this smaller piece in a way so it doesn't go. It doesn't stick out like that. But it covers it completely. Okay. So now I know that's how big I need it. So what I do, I hold down this edge and I just lift up. And finish the fold. So there I go. I have my 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 edge that I'm going to use to tape the corners together. So then next what I do, I grab double edge tape and what I do, I just carefully kind of manage my way around this corner. Wish I had the scissors closer to me, right? And I cut right there. I go ahead and I do it one more time. I like to do, I like to put it two or three times depending the size of the cardboard. And, and then I go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I hope you guys could see this clearly and my hand's not in the way too much. I just really need you guys to get an idea of how simple really it is to do this because I personally was intimidated uh, when I was first thinking about it. I, I didn't think I could do it. And one day I ended up getting uh, something shipped to me and I was like, hey, you know what? There's some cardboard there, might as well try it. And since my wife does a lot of crafts work with Cricut and whatnot, I was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna use some of her material and try to create my own. Uh, insert so there you go that's how I do the edges so I'm ready to start connecting the pieces together so basically here I go let me make sure I get the one that goes with it okay here we go these are the two pieces and the idea is that I want to put the pieces together like this so it creates an edge of the, the excuse me the insert and move the scissors out the way I'm going to go ahead and peel the other side of the tape. As you can see, there's the tape right there. Just careful not to lift it up. And with this, I'm just going to put it right on top. See how that fit? Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and peel the other side of the double tape. I do one side at a time. Then this one, what I do, I, I put it 
together in the way that I'm going to want it to be. Notice that how I have it. Okay. I don't have it like this. I don't have it like this. I have it like this. Okay. Not like this. Like that. And I just make sure it's nice and flat. And then I stick it together. So as you could see, I have my first edge of my insert. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and now what I did on this, on what I did on this side, I'm going to make sure that I could do it on this side, flapping like this, so that I could fit the other one. I'm going to go ahead and do the small side first. So I'm going to peel the double sided tape once again. Taping it together. There we go. Now I'm ready to place the other side. You're, you're starting to kind of see how it's starting to form. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the other side. Like right here, it lifted up a little bit. No problem. I just go up on the other side, take it out the other way. Always a solution to every problem. Don't freak out. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to uh, work well enough. And once again, I, I don't want to put it... See how I can put it on the camera here so you guys can see it. I don't want to put it like this. I want to put it like this. Okay? It just helps the integrity of the, the insert. This makes it a weak insert. This makes it a little bit more firm. So I went ahead and did that. And... Oh no, this one could have been a little better, but there you go, there's my insert, I already have it there, and now I'm just going to go ahead and close this side, once again, I'm going to start with the bigger end this time, see I'm, I'm, I'm already about to finish uh, an insert right here, and I, it took me barely just minutes, just minutes. A lot of people think, hey, may think it, it might be, oh, it's going crazy here. It might be uh, too difficult, too difficult to do this. It might be too time consuming to do this. And uh, just that thought might make it difficult or make, make them not want to attempt it. But I assure you, I don't know why my camera is going crazy. There you go. I assure you, Starting to see how it forms, right? Very good. I, I've done this so many times and it's made, especially when it comes to setup and tear down for my board games, it has been so, <clears throat> excuse me, so easy and enjoyable. It truly has, oh, it truly has made the setup of the board games that I, I have and the tear down so, so good simple straight to the point easy i really have enjoyed it quite a lot and i'm just going to go ahead and brush this to the side and finish it right here so basically what i did to one side i went ahead and did it to the other side and as you can see here's my insert so you could fit pretty much anything notice that the dimension is very very thin here uh, what this could be good for is if you have those wide cards. Um, let me see if I could find one. I'm personally not going to use this for any particular game. I'm just doing it for an example. Okay, this might be a little bit too big, but there you go. That's an example. Like one of these cards. I could have even made it a little smaller. I'm going to show you what my storage looks like for journeys in middle earth just so you can see so once again this this is how the insert would look and then basically what you do you just fit it inside of the box uh you fit it inside the box is very sturdy very reliable it doesn't it doesn't rip on you it doesn't bend on you it's it's so well made sometimes you make schemes so easy and enjoyable to deal with so i'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna bring this in. Hold on. All 
right. I just needed to lift this up. So this is my storage solution for Journeys in Middle Earth. This is how it looks on the top. I moved the, the box moved a little bit, but it looks like this. Okay. That's what it looks like on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the roll book and you'll see that right on top I created an insert on the top and the insert on the bottom and I placed one of these uh, craft storage boxes that I find that you can find in Michaels and literally I placed it right on top of it and this is where I, I put all my figures my enemy figures and right underneath that you'll see my heroes and the bigger enemies and right below that, you'll see my tokens. Here are the tokens, and here are the banners. These cards right here are the sleeves I'm gonna use for the new expansion that I have pre-ordered, and I'm waiting for it to come in October or November. And here's the, the big figure that I have there. And there's the insert. See, the same insert that I made here is the same insert that I placed there. And I have all of my, I create little dividers. And let's see if you can read. There's my trinkets, titles, items, and my campaign progress. It, I put some, uh, uh, the card, the, the, the foam dividers right here, and I ended up placing my character cards in between that space. And on this edge, I did the same thing. And here you'll be able to see all my other types of, cards that exist there are all the characters and i i place different all the basic cards so up to five players can play uh, at a time with me which i always play solo so it doesn't happen so that's how i've stored uh journeys in middle earth you might be asking well where are the tiles the tiles I could have placed them here in the middle, but I ended up using the expansion Shadows, Shadow Path, I think it's called, the, but the expansion to this game is where all the tiles are being held. I, I used that instead, and it works It works really well because I put it in, alpha, in uh, numerical order, so they're very easy to read. So I just bust the game out and I just... <laughs> pretty much set up and take down this game very easily and it's all thanks to these little inserts that I created and I showed you I hope this helps I hope you're able to try it yourself and if it if it worked let me know how it went which game you used it for I'm gonna do the next one for Mansions of Madness second edition I thankfully didn't need to do it for Descent Legends of the Dark because in my opinion, the, it, Legends of the Dark did a great job with the storage solution. I was able to use that box itself. So just let me know if it helped you. This has been Solo Board Gaming Nights, and I hope you guys have a great game night. Take care.